Alright guys, here on the Le Mans YouTube channel, we do not deal kindly to thoughts, okay? Champion hoodies and mirror selfies are a no-no here, alright? Don't even get me started on Snapchat Premium, okay? Because that's just like a whole different topic, honestly. How dumb do you have to be to pay whatever ridiculous price these people are asking just to see them in like a bikini or whatever, right? It's just so dumb, alright? So dumb. Like, how desperate are you, my guy? Like, just get out of there. Have you heard of Tinder? Anyway... The title of today's video is, and I think it's important to just analyze it a bit, I'd rather die hot than live ugly. Let's get this straight. This person would rather die than be like a six. Like, okay, well, me personally, not gonna lie, I'm no big chuggers, alright, you know. Like, I ain't a snack. Like, on the snack scale, I'm probably like a damp lettuce sandwich out of ten. Like, barely edible, you know. Like, but I don't want to die. Anyway, without further ado, I think I should probably just play the clip. My goal is to be a skinny legend and Insta-famous. I'm funny, I'm hot, I have money, I have a nice body. When you're Instagram famous, you're actually famous. Right now, I have almost 40,000 followers, which is kind of bothering me. I need at least 40 million followers, but we'll get there one day. Okay, and here I was thinking I was cool having fucking 70 subscribers. I was bullied growing up until my senior year of high school. The teasing was immense. As soon as I decided to get hot, I started really getting um, a pickup on the follower count, and uh, that's kind of when it all came together. <sighs> Look at me now, bitches. I'm hot. I'm on Dr. Phil. You're not on Dr. Phil. You're all sitting at home probably eating. Before I was... 200 pounds, I had short brown hair, pale, chubby. I would say I was probably like a three out of 10 and no one wants to be a three. I ate diet pills like Tic Tacs and I don't regret it. I mean, I'd rather die hot than live ugly. So if this is gonna take 10 years off my life, I don't care. I don't wanna be old anyway. Old people are ugly. I still have to get some calories in cause you know, gotta keep the ass fat for the boys out there. I love having a fatty. Big booties matter more than small booties. If you have a tiny booty, I don't even want to see it. Okay, I find it kind of weird that she only wants to hang out with her friends if they're, like, hot, you know? Like, I don't really, like, to be honest, I don't really know why you'd want hot friends, you know? Like, it makes me kind of think that you just want to, like, fuck your friends and, like, that's a bit odd, you know? <laughs> like... Each month, I spend about $20,000 on hair, makeup, clothes, shoes, accessories, anything to make me more perfect. Honestly, I'm just curious about how she even has twenty thousand dollars a month to spend on clothes. Like, like, how did you, how did you acquire such wealth? You know, you're you're a broke college student and you you don't even go to your classes. So, how are you making twenty thousand dollars a month? You know, like it's, it's kind of making me think that you might you know you might have your own Snapchat premium or something. Like, I'm not sure. I I know for sure that Instagram isn't monetized. You know, there's definitely something going on here. Some sort of some sort of prostitution or something. I. Bit shady, I don't know, just working like 20 hours a day at McDonald's or something. Like, how, how do you have $20,000 a month to spend on clothes? I don't really go to class when I'm in college. When I do go, it's only so I can put on an outfit of at least $6,000 worth and walk in and have everyone stare at me and feel bad about themselves. First of all, okay, that's just fucked up. Like, I, I shouldn't even really need to explain why that's just like, just like fucking not cool and like, just like such a degenerate like thing to do, but... Oh, like, I would def like, if I was in that position, I'd, I'd rather have $20,000 than $20,000 in clothes, you know, because, you know, you can buy a lot of other things than, than just clothes with $20,000, you know, like, I could probably, I could probably, like, I could stock a wardrobe full of, like, nice clothes for, like, $1,000, so, you, you know, uh, it's a, I, don't, I don't really know how envious I'd be if I saw you in that $20,000 shirt if I knew you were eating ramen noodles, you know? This dress is Alexander Wang, these sunglasses are Fendi to match my Fendi boots. The more labels, the better, because I like shoving it in poor bitches' faces that I've got the double Fs and they're probably wearing Forever 21. <sighs> my haters are losers and they're ugly. Haters are my motivators. A lot of my haters just want my attention and I'm not gonna give it to them. They can keep following me, they can give me all the attention they want, good or bad, I don't care. I wanna be famous for being famous. I have no talent. I went from being 200 pounds and a loser that- Now you're 100 pounds and a loser. Everyone hated to someone everyone wants to be, whether they want to admit it or not. Look at me now, I'm on television. Ava is obsessed with social media. Ava has become very conceited. 
We call Cloud Chaser. Ava likes to DM celebrities on Instagram, like all of their pictures until they notice her. Guys will offer her money or to take her shopping, but in return, they want to have sex with her. If you don't become Instagram famous, what are you gonna do? There's plenty of rich men out there. She was heavier in high school, and a lot of people bullied her for it. Ava's top motive for all of this is definitely getting revenge. When she's famous, she can't wait to shove it in everyone's faces, but I think she's taking it to an extreme. Ava did something called No Eat November. She literally did not eat a single solid food for an entire month. All right, and here I was thinking I was taking on an impossible task with No Nut November, all right? No Eat November. Like, when, like at the start of No Nut November, I thought I was like in fucking colonial times. Like, I thought that I was gonna have to, like, be doing some, like, Ring of the Periri type shit, you know, alright, to survive that shit, okay? No eat November. You can't not eat for a month, alright? You did work really hard to get your image today, but you barely ate. If that killed me, cool, whatever happens. And it honestly was one of the best things I ever did. I lost, like, 10 pounds. It's definitely dangerous. The person you knew that was insecure and sad and fat and unhappy turned into this beautiful, hot, skinny legend butterfly who wants to just go the world up. I'm worried that Ava's gonna end up endangering herself, and I don't want her to get hurt. Overall, need like a massive reality check. Okay, hi. Hi. How are you? Fantastic, how are you, Phil? Well, I'm okay. Um, would you say that you're one of those people that has a need to be loved by strangers? Um, yeah, I mean, there's really no reason not to love me, so I love being loved. I'm awesome. So what's awesome about you? Um, I'm hot and I'm funny. I'm a skinny legend. Skinny legend? I'm a skinny legend. <laughs> what is a skinny legend? A skinny legend is someone who is hot and skinny. Okay, why do you want to be famous? Um, I want to be famous not because the world deserves me, because it doesn't, but the world needs me. How delusional do you actually have to be? Like, do you know how many Instagram models there are out there doing exactly the same thing that you're doing, Ava, except better? All right, the world does not need you. The world does not need you, Ava, okay? We've got enough Instagram models. They need my face out there. I, I admit that I've... I've, I've missed your spectacularness until now. That's really uh, unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm so, blessing the stage right now, people. You're welcome. No, I'm playing catch up. What, tell me the contributions you've made that to distinguish society? you from other people. Well, I feel like with my Instagram, I have influenced like a lot of people to be hotter. I've made all my friends lose weight and like be better looking. If you are so special, why do you need to wear, you say, $6,000 outfit? If you're so special, why? Awesome. No, hold on, let me finish. Look at these shoes. No, no, let me finish. Do you have these shoes? No. Uh, no, I don't what have those. Shoes? What kind? I have, what are my shoes? Yeah, I have no idea. Chanel? I couldn't tell you they're black. <laughs> um, but How much if, they cost? I couldn't tell you. I find this kind of funny because this girl's just trying to like flex her wealth to Dr. Phil. But but if you look it up, Dr. Phil's net worth is actually like over four hundred million dollars. So like Oh, mine were thousand dollars. Okay. I could go stomp some bitches' heads out of these and they'd be blessed. Okay, let me ask some if you're so Okay. She would be like the perfect antagonist in Pitch Perfect, alright? I don't even think they need to write her a fucking script. They just like put her in a scene and just like see what she did, alright? Cause Cause like this is this is like some straight shit like right here like honestly I'm not even sure if this person is being real at all because like I mean obviously everyone plays it up for like if you're going on a TV show but like there's no way <laughs> there's, there's no way how how can you not see how much, how just like dumb that is special why do you need all of the props why do you need the I six thousand dollar outfit I don't need them I just want them. All right, so you're telling me you'd still get into that club, you know, you'd still be famous and cool if you were wearing these bad boys. Yeah, I didn't think so. Those are for cool kids only, all right, Ava, so you can get out of here. Okay, guys, I've decided to conduct some deeper research into this matter, all right? So, you know, I did some Mission Impossible type shit, guys, you know, and I managed to hack the mainframe, you know, like Mr. Hackerman type shit to find out uh, this girl's Instagram tag, or right, her, her Instagram handle. 
<laughs> it really wasn't that hard. I, I just paused the video on a frame where it showed it. Anyway, I think that I'm just kind of like just going to go in there because I'm pretty sure she's going to be saying some fucking obnoxious stuff in her post. Like, we'll, we'll see what's going on there. Okay, guys. Um, let's just start looking at her Instagram. We'll, we'll see what we got here. Uh, would rather die hot than ugly, okay? Well, you said that in the thing. You can tell, we can tell right off the bat here that, uh, she, she's kind of just milking this fucking, um, she, she's milking Dr. Phil's show for, for followers, you know, for clout. You see, she's just posting all the clips from it. Okay, we have, we, we have her uh, looking at some trees, looking down at all the haters like, you're not skinny. Jesus, alright. Well, um... It feels it feels dumb to me. It doesn't even feel like this is real. There's no way you're just this much of just like a stupid hateful person. This, this can't be. Look, this this you, do you have these shoes? Look, look, she's she's um quoting the lines where she was just like saying really uh like controversial shit. So I almost feel look we have got some you know some titties for the boys you know like in, oh your Pornhub sponsor. You guys know what it is like. She may be like failing her classes, but like she does have one true talent. Okay. Yeah, the, the, like, you know, you guys can conduct your own research into, you know, her page more, you know, the, like that type of research if you want to. I'm not really here to look at her ass and stuff. I'm just here, I'm just here for Pornhub Center merch, so, you, you know, you, we've got to sell out right there. Picture of me enjoying my last moments before national fame. Well, you have 56,000 followers, so on the scale of things, I wouldn't call that national fame. Will I become a meme? Yeah, not a meme. You're just being made fun of. Honestly, I took a big risk acting how I did, but I gotta do it for the gram, am I right? Well, here she's basically admitting that she's putting on a character. Like, I kind of expected that. We need a new meme. Like I said, America doesn't deserve me. They need me. No, they don't. Hope it all pays off. If not, I'll be jumping off this cliff. You fucking... Okay, you're just threatening suicide if you don't get your fucking clicks, bro. But skinny legends never die. So, like, I'm sure I'll be fine regardless. And she's asking for prayers for herself. Okay, okay, we got the uh, okay case in point right there. You guys can examine the the evidence. Uh -huh. Yeah, more evidence. A bit more evidence. Some more, some more evidence. Um. All right. Let's let's hear see some more controversial stuff on her Instagram. I'm actually curious if we go up to that other one where she was talking about looking down on the haters. If people were like, well, that's kind of fucking like fucked up. I want to see if her fans just care or not. They're probably just like, damn hot ass. Looking down on the head is like, you're not skinny. 240 comments. Okay, so on my account, I called her a 7. I said, bro, you're a 7, chill out. And as you can tell, there, there isn't um, that many comments. And, and she, like, she deleted it. So, <laughs> like, I was just like, I called her a 7. Which, I mean, like a, like a 7 isn't even that bad. But I guess if you're not a 10, then Auto shutdown initiated. you can just get Auto fucked, I guess. Canceled. Alright guys, this is the end of today's video. Thank you all for watching. Tell me if you like less, less structured videos like this one, I guess. And just please remember to subscribe because I'm a small channel and, you know, I'm still on that 100 subscribers grind, you know. I said I'd get another video in a week and, like, here I am, a week later, new video. I hope you're proud of me, you know. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Well, not really, but anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a fat like. You guys know what it is. I'll see you all next time in another week. Peace out.